Hello Aries, welcome back to the channel Aries the Emperor here. I am back with another general reading for all of my Aries collective. If you guys are new here, welcome. This is an all Aries channel for all of my Aries placements. Cross watchers, you are welcome as well. To everyone, just take in mind that this reading may or may not resonate with you and that is okay. Do not force the reading. Thank you to each and every last one of you guys um, that likes, subscribes, comments, donates, shares um, books, personal readings, shop the website. I am going to end the sale on tomorrow. 30% um, off on personal readings and candles. If you guys um, would like to um, have an opportunity, you know, just to, to, you know, catch a sale and connect with me. All of my information is in the description box located down below. I am still working behind the scenes to connect with those of you who have purchased readings um, and intention candles, um, as well as um, I did start a GoFundMe. I was in an accident, um, so it's not required, but if you'd like to donate, all of my information is in the description box located down below. And thank you to all of you guys who have um, reached out to me who have donated um, and, and just wishing me a speedy recovery. Um, thank you all. It's greatly appreciated. All right, so let's jump into the reading and see what messages come out for you guys in the spread. Let's use the This, this Might Hurt tarot deck because baby it did. <laughs> all right. We got that. New moon and Sagittarius energy coming. Spirit messages for Aries. Messages for Aries. Oh, oh. We're going to take them all. We got the two of pentacles in reverse. All right. That is Capricorn energy. We have the Empress, Taurus energy, the Wheel of Fortune, Sagittarius energy. That's what we want to see. The Hanged Man, Pisces energy, and the Two of Wands, Aries energy, Six of Pentacles, Nine of Pentacles, Two of Swords, and the Justice. Boy, that was a handful of cards that just came out, but maybe somebody needs to hear this. So, all right, let's take a look here. Let's see what we got. At least your energy came out with the Two of Wands here. You know, you could be gearing up. Um, some of you guys, I feel like you, you could have travel plans, you know, or ge gearing up um, to maybe travel back home. Um, this could be an energy also, I feel like, where you are coming out of something, um, something that maybe has been a downer for you, um, has been hard for you to give up, or um, just is, is maybe been feeling like you've been stuck in the same space. Um, this is you coming out of it with the Empress and the Wheel of Fortune and the Hanged Man. Um, this is you seeing through something, or this is Spirit seeing you through something, um, coming through, rescuing you, opening your eyes, um, just helping you see clearer, helping you figure out where it is that you need to go, you know, and, and some of you guys are already in that space. Um, so things just may be about to get a little greater later for you um, is what the Six of Pentacles and this Nine of Pentacles speaks on. All right. We got the Two of Swords. There's going to be a lot of things that you're going to have to give up and cut out. Um, this may include people. We also have the justice, but it will be worth it. You know, this is bringing back structure and balance, I feel like, to a lot of your guys' lives. Um, and this could be in the form of a partner as well here because the 11 on here is giving me like soulmate type of, and, and justice rules over, um, is, is Libra energy. So that rules over your relationships and, and connections with others as well. Other messages, spirit. Mm. 
All right, we have the star, cover her up. <laughs> Aquarius energy. The high priestess. Pisces energy. And the Queen of Cups, Cancer energy. The Tower is what you don't see coming at the bottom of the deck, Aries energy. The Star and the High Priestess right next to each other. Some of you guys have really been doing some really deep, like, soul searching. Like, some of you guys have been doing some heavy, heavy, heavy healing. Or this is like a, a retreat of some sort. It's like an energy of getting back to your roots. It's like a rebirth, like a, a, a reawakening. This is like major transformation, major evolution here. And it may have been brought on by maybe a series of events of some sort. Or it's time for a change. Is what spirit is saying. Change is about to come for some of you guys in the most spiritual way. The most unimaginable, unimaginable way. What other messages, Spirit? All right, we have the Knight of Wands, Leo energy. Yeah, something's coming in hot and heavy for you. Whether this, like I said, is a person or just um, just a change. Nine of Swords, you know, some relief. Hell, a good night's sleep. We got the Six of Swords. And the Nine of Wands. Yeah, just like an energy, like if you ever felt left behind, you know, this may be an energy where people going to feel like you leaving them behind. And it's, it's for good reason. I feel like you pour your heart and soul out into things here and, and it's, it's maybe not reciprocated. Some of you guys could be journaling. I feel like that's a, a an amazing way to... Just get out your thoughts, you know, your emotions um, in, a, in a positive way here. You know, things are more clearer when you see them in, your, in front of your face. And this is even, you know, when you're planning something, um, a party, uh, uh, creating a business, um, manifesting and seeing yourself in a new job, um, a new career of some sort here. I see a, a lot of hard work for a lot of you guys to come as well, but I mean, payoffs are lucrative. All 
All right, we have the lovers, Gemini energy. Yeah, that's it, that, that soulmate energy coming in. Or this is a lover that still thinks about you, is in conflict with contacting you, um, in conflict with moving on with their own personal lives. The Six of Wands. Someone feels like you guys will make a good couple, I feel like. They feel like this is... I feel like this is like a power couple type of energy with the six of wands and the lovers here coming together with somebody and both of you guys equally winning. Yeah, with the world for everybody to see or everybody's going to get an opportunity to see you lead and march in the parade. I didn't want to show the world because she's naked too. <laughs> it's an energy also too, man. Life goes on. Life must go on. Don't be afraid to. The sun. Live in your truth. Be happy in real life. Don't be afraid to. Five of Swords is what you don't see coming at the bottom of the deck. And the Emperor, Aries Energy. Love it. Some of you guys are moving into your Emperor season here. The Four of Cups with the Fool. Y'all are upgrading, graduating, and calling the shots. Heavy on the meditation. Make sure you guys are, are really tapping in. This is a really spiritual, uh, a very spiritual time. This season of Sagittarius. And a good time to manifest. You know, this may be one of the luckiest parts of the year for you. The Ace of Swords with connecting with yourself and connecting with others and connecting with purpose. We got the Tower, Aries Energy, the universe. Did I say change? Change is inevitable. And you may be the one coming in doing the wrecking and the changing. Whether this is something inside of you or something that you're changing inside of somebody else forever. With the Eight of Swords. You may have people out here playing victim against you. Not to say you're guilty of anything, but like this is energies where people are equally guilty or equally accountable. Or should be held equally accountable. And beware, you know, this is an energy also where somebody would like to create a tower moment for you. And whatever positivity that you may have going on in your in your circle, in your life at this time, we got the devil. Is what you don't see coming at the bottom of the deck, Capricorn energy. The devil in the seven of wands. Yeah, and it came right on out. So yeah, protect your energy above all. I don't care if you gotta isolate, take some space from people, separate your people. Do not separate from people, but do not fall victim to these low vibes. I know it's a fight. It's a hard one sometimes. We love people, you know, we love hard, but we have to love ourselves even harder. You know, that's the real love, self-love. 
and you showing up in all these different energies here, reminding you of that. You got a, a roadmap. You got instructions or directions. Follow that. All right, I'm going to leave this reading here. Hit that like and subscribe button for more messages from me. I'll catch you guys later. I may do a second read because um, I know I didn't come on yesterday. I was so busy. Um, so I may just do a second read as well here for you guys. Ciao.